Hello, uh, my name is Rachel Hunter and I'm the designer of the Strom Cardigan, which you will find in the Shetland Wool Week uh, Annual 2020. So I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the inspiration behind the design and uh, uh, some tips that you might want to take into account if you're planning on um, making this cardigan. So in terms of the, the inspiration, um, uh, certainly for the for the yoke design itself, you'll, you'll see that I've incorporated the traditional Shetland tree and star into the design. Um, but following a, a trip to Iceland a few years ago, I was very inspired by the, the very deep yokes that you find on the lopi sweaters. Uh, and so what I decided to do was to, to pay tribute to that particular uh, trip and, um, and make a, a much deeper yoke we um, uh, some diamonds and um, and and so on to just to, to give a, a kind of nod to that uh, Icelandic um, yoke tradition as well as the Shetland one. In terms of the colours, um, I live in a, a place called Stromfirth, which is sort of ten miles north of Lerwick, and it's nice and dark uh, in the evenings, especially in the winter. And um, sometimes, if I'm lucky, then you see the the merry dancers or, or the northern lights in the sky. And, and these are the sort of colours that I, uh, I, I, I see uh, sometimes in the sky. So, um, and that, of course, set against the backdrop of the, the Shetland black um, uh, jumper weight yarn uh, to set off these uh, very vibrant colours. In terms of key tips going forward, um, you know, it, it's a garment, so you need to swatch. Um, uh, so it fits either yourself or, or, or whoever you're making it for at the very end. Um, it's important to do a swatch to swatch the the stock and stitch, so the plain um, knit, as well as doing a, a swatch for the fair isle section, because the, the, and the reason for that is that people, you know, many people do actually knit in different tensions across um, fair isle and across plain stock and stitch. I mean, I certainly do that. I use a uh, in this particular garment, I use a, a three mil for the stock and stitch and a, a three point two five for the the fair isle um, section because I, I tend to knit a bit tighter when it comes to to fair isle. Uh, in terms of uh, experience level, um, you know if you've if you've managed to to knit uh, fair isle uh, in the round, um, you should be able to to, to tackle this. Um, I suppose a lot of people are quite um, nervous about the steek because um, um, obviously you have to, to cut the knitting to get the cardigan um, but I would suggest there are plenty of tutorial, tutorials online that can that can help you with that and the great thing about Shetland wool is that you don't have to reinforce the steek before you cut it because Shetland wool is very sticky. So um, I, I hope you, um, uh, if you're going to give it a bash uh, um, uh, in, in terms of, of uh, um, having a go at knitting this, this garment then you know, I'll really look forward to seeing your your uh, your work on on uh, an Instagram and, and other social media outlets going forward. Thanks very much. Bye.